this video of the uh, school view, we're going to look at how to run a class list for an administrator or a secretary with the school view. So I'm in the de-identified database, our training environment, and I'm in the schedule top tab. From here, I can find the course I wanted to run a, uh, a class list for using control F, or I can look through my pagination tools, find the one course that I want to run a class list for. Options, show selected, then reports, and you can do this for multiple classes as well. Um, and it's under, where is this again? Students, and then class lists. It says for your current selection, so that's why you can tell you can do this for multiple classes, and hit the run report, and this will come up with all my fake students, and there is a simple class list for them. Another way I can do this is under the student top tab. In the student top tab, the report that I'm thinking of would be most useful for elementary schools that use homerooms to identify their groups of kids. Uh, under student and reports, you can go to other jurisdictions and then the homeroom list. I'm at the high school in this example right now, so it doesn't represent a class, it just represents a group. And I can do a search by the homeroom and hit run. And this would give me a class list of everybody in the homeroom. So at the elementary level, this works out great because your homeroom is your, your group of classing. At the secondary level, not, uh, not so much. That's two quick ways to do um, class lists.